welcome to Blause. As you can tell, it's the Blue Lake. It's a wonderful, magical fairy tale lake in Switzerland. And in this travel guide, I will explain to you how to come here, what to do, what to explore, how much it costs, and more. Because this is Switzerland Insider. My name is Greg. Welcome to Blause. Blause, a hidden jewel nestled in the mystical landscapes of Switzerland. Renowned for its strikingly clear blue waters and surrounded by the tranquil beauty of a forest that looks like it's from Lord of the Rings. Blause is not just a destination, it's an experience that captivates the heart. To reach Blause, you have several convenient options. If you're driving, Blause is about an hour away from Bern or about half an hour from Interlaken, offering a scenic journey along Lake Thun and the Swiss countryside. For those of you using public transport, you take the train to Frutigen and then you change to a bus. The visit of Blause isn't free. This means you need to get some tickets when you arrive. When you travel in the off-season like I did, you need to get it yourself from this ticket machine and then just simply enter. But before, make sure you consult the map of Blause because there you see there's a straightway going directly to the lake or you can go on a short hike through the Lord of the Rings forest that is right around. Now if you like Lord of the Rings, you should check out this video right here. It's happening in Ticino, it's the real life Hobbit town. And of course, I will put the link down in the description so you can watch it after. For it to really feel fairy tale like obviously you have to come when it's raining, okay? So this is one good rain activity when you're on holidays in Switzerland and in the area. This is it, I have found my favorite few square meters around here. Look at this. Now, because this is Switzerland Insider, we're gonna go all in. You might have seen that there are fish inside this lake. Let's find out which ones. So, enough drenching my phone. These are trout. Now, very often in Switzerland, uh, firewood is provided, and firewood is provided for you to make a barbecue. Maybe today is not the best weather, okay? Here are some logs, okay? Very often there are some newspapers around as well. So around here, where you can, from outside, bring a picnic, bring your lunch, a sausage, or you can make raclette if you like. Still looking for the fireplace. Uh, this is one very Swiss thing to bring your sausage. One sausage you want to buy, it contains pork though. It's called Cervela, okay? And it's a one uh, famous one. Or the other one, which contains veal, it's uh, Kalbsbratwurst or Bratwurst, Bratwurst, as we say it around here. So around here, let's talk about prices just now as well. I think it's a, it's a good time uh, to come in for an adult it's eight Swiss francs. A child, a little bit less. Very small child, even free. And the parking as well. Um, here, it's uh, if you stay four hours or below, it's uh, five Swiss francs. If you stay longer than that, it's 10 Swiss francs. So you need to calculate that a little bit as well. Now, talking about prices makes me hungry. I could not not, okay? So I got this bagel. It's a trout bagel. The trout are, was a friend of, of one of these. And, uh, I ate the other half already, but I'm gonna tell you it's really delicious. The price uh, might shock you a little bit. It's uh, 12 Swiss francs for this one bagel, but this is Switzerland. And if you go to a fast food chain and you get a simple hamburger, it's gonna be at least 60 or 70% of that. And this is fresh bread, okay? Super, super healthy and super delicious. If you prefer life on the lake, you can go on a boat ride in summer as well. Thanks for watching this travel guide. I hope I don't get lost in the forest on the way back. See you soon around in Switzerland. Bis bald und tschüss.